And while that's happening, I want to start our mini cheese calzones. And you know what this starts off with? Just a pre-packaged crescent dough roll that you can get right in any grocery store. And I'm going to let this sit to the side for just a second here because we want to make the filling. And that is ricotta cheese. It's so delicious. Yummy, yummy. So first goes in the ricotta cheese. And then we're gonna put in our Mexican cheese from the grocery store, pre-shredded, just a little bit of that. And some chopped olives. You can also buy these in the grocery store pre-chopped if you don't wanna chop your own. Then all you need to add to this is just a little bit of Italian seasoning. And I wanna whisk this together with a fork. Now my pasta is almost done there. So let's set this to the side. We'll roll out our dough in just a second. These cheese calzones are gonna be just as good as that six cheese tortellini. And when we come back, I'm gonna finish these up. I'm also gonna show you a great white wine fondue and some poached pears with port. So that's all coming. One of the things that I love the most about these mini cheese calzones is that you can make them ahead of time. They're so simple to do. Put them in your freezer, put them in your refrigerator. They're a great snack, whether you're watching movies or kids or home alone, this is fantastic. And you just start off by rolling your dough together. You want to just make one full piece and then you're going to cut this into little squares so you can make your triangles and fold it over. Now, we're going to take a pizza cutter and go right up the middle, then cut here, here, and one last one there. Now pick these up. Some will be bigger than others. Some will be smaller, which is great. If you're throwing a party, any party at all, they can be a perfect meal or make them miniature and use them for appetizers fold it over, then lay this down, pinch the ends together. And here is a great trick. If you want to use a little bit of water, we'll do it on both sides here, just to seal that. Then take a fork and just press down so you get those pretty little professional ends and no one will know that this is semi-homemade. So there's your first one. Great, easy, simple, delicious. Okay, let's make just a few more here. I already have some baking up in my little toaster oven and that's another great thing about these. You can bake them in the regular oven, the toaster oven. They are simple. Take this, I want you to put a little bit of water just around the edges here and this will help seal this perfectly corner to corner and then press together. You have a perfect little triangle and then with your fork, go ahead, press the edges just like this. And they come out as pretty as they are delicious. And once you have your baking dish prepared and everything's on here, I want you to take that same fork and just poke a couple holes into the tops of each so that the air can escape. And then these are done and ready to come out. They're in there for about 20 minutes. So a really fast bake. And I want to taste this. Ooh, 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 hot, hot, hot. All right. This looks delicious. Mm. Mm. Now, 